Good morning, Slidell. Today is Wednesday, October 28th. It's about 9 a.m. Um, we are broadcasting again with the storm update. The uh, weather service this morning forecast that uh, Hurricane Zeta will be a category two storm when it makes landfall, which means that in the Slidell area, we're gonna see winds of 70, 75 miles an hour, uh, sustained winds and gusts in the 90 mile an hour category, uh, which will, will bring down some trees and possibly power lines and cause us some uh, severe problems. It's gonna be a short duration storm, lasts a couple of hours uh, for the, the brunt of it, the worst of it, but we'll start to see conditions deteriorate shortly after noon today, and we'll probably stay in a, a bad way until about 10 o'clock tonight, and by midnight it'll be pushed through. So with that in mind, we've had six drills to prepare for these things this year. And this is the seventh time we've done this. This is the real deal. We are in this, right in the crosshairs of this storm. Uh, Weather Service told me this morning that we should see the eye wall cross Slidell, which means that you may see a little lull in the action somewhere between 8.30 and 9.30 tonight. Do not go outside and get in the middle of this storm because you, you could catch the winds on the back side of the eye. So when, when the sun goes down tonight, plan on staying sheltered in place until daylight tomorrow. Go out tomorrow and assess your damages. Don't get out in the dark and start to look around. There may be energized power lines that could cause you some harm. Uh, stay safe and stay inside tonight. Come out tomorrow to assess damages. I've asked Chief Kaufman, Chief Fandle, and David Hershey with Clico to join me today to talk a little bit about safety before, during, and after the storm. So uh, at this time, I'm gonna ask Chief Kaufman to share his thoughts with you, and uh, then we'll co go down with, Kauf with uh, Chief Pamela and uh, Mr. Hersey. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. First thing I'd like to say is I uh, want everyone to shelter in place. No one has been evacuated, uh, so we have a lot of people here. We want you to shelter in place, allow the storm to pass, we cannot guarantee a response when the, the wind gets over 50 miles per hour. That's no first response agency, law enforcement, fire, EMS. So there's no guarantee. And we'll have to make that judgment call on a case by case basis. So we wanna be available to respond after the storm passes us. Make sure you, you remove any uh, loose debris or, or yard furniture, you know, minimize any flying objects that could cause damage or injury to anyone at your home. Uh, the second thing I'd like to cover is, is, is your smoke detectors. Make sure they work. Lightning strikes do cause fires. Under these circumstances, early notification is the best thing that can save your life. The, the third thing is generators. Uh, you know, more people have generators today. Make sure if you use a generator, you take all precautions. Keep those generators, portable generators, at least 10 feet from your home. Uh, you know, that carbon monoxide can get in your house. Uh, it's deadly. Uh, we would encourage you to have a carbon monoxide detector. Not everybody has one that doesn't have gas in their home today. So you want to use a generator, get the detector, make sure that carbon monoxide's not coming in, uh, whether it be through a door or window, uh, because you won't even know it. It'll put you to sleep and you won't wake up. Uh, those, those things, may I think, are important from a safety standpoint. Our staff is up. Uh, we have over 50 personnel ready to roll today, today tonight. Uh, all of our high water boat units, every unit has chainsaws on it, so we're ready to serve our public, uh, you know, either prior to or once the storm passes, we'll be ready to, to deploy. Great. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Chief Fanner. Just a reminder, this is going to be a fast moving event. The storm is moving unusually fast. Once it comes on shore, they expect it to move out of here within several hours, a few hours, four hours maybe. The uh, just shelter in place, we can't say that enough. It, I would say have everything completed this morning and be in your shelter wherever that may be at by noon. Don't try to travel after afternoon because we're expecting storm conditions around one, two o'clock this afternoon. So be in your shelter wherever that may be by noon. Speaking of shelters, um, there will be no shelters inside city limits. There should be a list of shelters on the Emergency Operations Center website for St. Tammany Parish. They'll have a list of shelters available. So uh, just stay safe out there. Don't, can't stress enough that 
once this thing passes over us around seven to eight o'clock this evening, there will be a lull because we're expected to see the eye wall. Because there's a lull, don't get out there and start wandering around. This is a very small, compact storm. The eye wall is not expected to be, but what, maybe 20 miles wide. Right. So if, if you leave your shelter during the eye wall, you're gonna get caught in the backside of the eye wall. So stay put until this thing's over with. That's it. Thank you, Chief. Uh, we have David Hersey with Pleco, uh, who's uh, generous enough with his time to share with us today. I know we'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, safety with electricity, with generators, and your connections in your home. Uh, so David, if you'll share with us. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just to echo on Chief Kaufman's comments about the generator mm -hmm. safety is to, to please make sure when you're operating those generators to keep them outdoors. Very important, as Chris said, the uh, carbon monoxide issue is very dangerous. Uh, keep them far away from an open window or an open door, at least 10 feet. So two, two very important points there. The second thing I'd like to tell the mayor is down power lines. Um, we're gonna have some of this, of course, after an event like this, we're gonna have equipment, down power lines, down equipment, possible poles on the ground. Please stay away from any down power lines. Do not touch them, do not go near them. Um, please do not let your children outdoors if you have down power lines. The safety of our public is very important to us. And if you see a situation that you feel is very, very dangerous, please call 911 or Clico and or Clico uh, right away. And our number is 1-800-622-6537 to report dangerous situations. Thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you, uh, David, Mr. Hershey. We appreciate you being with us today to share that with us. Uh, folks, this is, uh, the, this is what we've been practicing for. I hate to call it, say that, but this is what we've been practicing for uh, for six times this year. Uh, you know the drill, uh, top off your fuel tanks, get some provisions in place for three to five days to take care of yourself. Uh, food, water, ice, meds. If you take uh, prescription meds, make sure you got at least uh, three to five days worth of meds and, uh, so you can take care of yourself. Um, we will be on the streets, Team Slidell, fire, police, public works, uh, hospital EMS. Team Slidell will be on the streets taking care of you and your property today and tonight and tomorrow as long as weather permits. But when the winds reach 40 to 45 miles an hour in our community, we will pull all of our team members off the streets. You have to be sheltered in place at that point and be prepared to take care of yourself until the storm passes. We will do our best to respond to any call that comes in to give assistance to any of our citizens that need it. But when the winds get into that range, 45 to 50 miles an hour, it's not safe for our team to be on the streets. It's not safe to them, for them to be able to try to get to you. It wouldn't be safe for them to try to transport you if they had to move you. So be prepared to take care of yourself when the winds reach 45 to 50 miles an hour. If you are not prepared to take care of yourself, get with family members. Be with family members that can help you take care of each other. We will be there for you until the winds uh, don't allow us. And we'll be back out as soon as the winds subside and allow us to get to you. But please keep that in mind. We want to keep you safe. We want to keep our team safe. And we want to keep all of our folks safe and able to take care of each other on the back side of this storm. We're gonna wake up to some debris tomorrow, probably gonna be a little cooler or a beautiful day, but the streets are not gonna look like they did when you went to bed to, uh, or you, the lights went out to, today. So be prepared tomorrow. If you've got a chainsaw, if you're working with a chainsaw, remember use eye protection, wear gloves. If you've got any uh, shields for your legs, uh, uh, chaps, put those on. Uh, be very careful with any power equipment that you use. Be very careful with any generators that you would, would need to take care of your food, your perishables, uh, your uh, frozen goods, and your refrigerators and freezers. Uh, that's about all that we have today, I think, from Team Slidell. Uh, please stay in touch with the uh, Slidell Facebook page, with the Slidell website, uh, with local media, TV, and radio, and uh, we will bring you the most current information we have as we get it.
So again, I'd like to thank uh, Chief Coffin, Chief Fanon, Mr. Hersey for joining us today and sharing uh, their thoughts about the storm and safety tips for the uh, before, during, and after the storm. And we're gonna sign out from Slide Off City Hall here at uh, about 9.15 this morning, uh, telling everybody be safe, be calm, we'll get through this together. We'll come out on this uh, tomorrow uh, with a good attitude, ready to jump in, take care of our neighbors, take care of ourselves, and get our community back in working order so we can have a wonderful weekend this weekend. So long from Slido City Hall, this is your mayor, Greg Cromer, along with Chief Coffin, Chief Family, and Mr. David Hersey from Cleco. Have a good day. Uh, slide it off, be safe.